is definitely not. I watched the programme on Saturday mm. with, well, absolute horror at what um, Prince Andrew was saying. And Tell me precisely what, what horrified well, you. The, the point is that the Queen, I do feel sorry for, because she has been exemplary in her role as, as our monarch. The trouble is... We are now in 2019. The modern monarchy is not the same going back as it was going back thousands of years. And our modern royals are very overprivileged, very spoilt and very self-indulged people who do exactly what they want to do. And what I fear the most is the people who are going to be hurt the most by this terrible interview is um, Prince Andrew's staff, who will probably be sacked because of the advice they gave him. They should have told him it's all their fault, everyone's fault, except for Andrew's. And that is what is going to happen. As far as I'm concerned, after the Queen, there should be the minor roles should be abolished. This is absolutely ridiculous. What is happening in this country? It it sounds as though, um, from what Peter Hunt was saying to Nick on the programme this morning, on his programme this morning, it sounds as though Prince Charles's plan for the monarchy is exactly what you describe, Eleanor, a much smaller outfit um, that, that is very focused, you know, sort of laser focus on on particular things it does and much less spread than it is at the moment. Um, How does that sound to you? It sounds perfect to me. I mean, Steve Allen, I don't know if you ever listen to Steve Allen, but I do. And um, his opinion of um, Andrew's children is not very high. So they are a prime example of who should not get they just shouldn't get a penny from the public purse. I mean, we've got enough problems in this country without keeping these people in a style to which they have now become accustomed. And all the security they have, for what? Nobody's interested in them. That's not entirely true about security. I mean, you know, we live in a world where there are quite extreme security measures for you and me, Eleanor, when we go travelling. And we're just ordinary citizens, if you see what I mean, with no overt interest in us. But... I, I imagine that the threat, you know, the prize of a royal kidnap or the prize of, of harming a member of the royal family from the point of view of, of terrorist organisations is pretty big, would be my guess. Well, I, I don't agree with you. I just think that if you look at other countries like Denmark and Spain, they're modern royals. They don't have all the security for all the minor people and nobody is kidnapped. You th- well, Spain is a funny mixture of things, isn't it? Because it still has quite a lot of the old grandeur, the Spanish monarchy. But you're right; it's a much smaller affair, a much smaller concern. What do you? Um, what size would you say then? Just Charles, Camilla, William, Kate. That's it. That's it. it. Just- that's it. Absolutely no one else. I mean, Harry and Meghan have made their their. Um, well, what, they they do exactly what they want to do. And uh, you know what? Good luck to them. Let them do what they want to do, but stop taking the money. Just stop taking the money. But if they do jobs in the name of the Crown, they're working for the Crown, aren't they? Yes, but they don't need to do jobs for the Crown. How often does Harry do anything? He could, He does what he wants to do. He likes going to the rugby matches. The football matches. Well, before um, you say, well, before any- no, before you say that with such certainty, check out um, the, the list of what they do because you'd be surprised. No, the only one, the only one who works hard is Anne. She is the only one, and you know what? She has not given her children a title. She's exactly how we would like the modern monarchy to be. She's got it right. I agree with you that she's got it right. And I agree with you that she is one of the most hardworking of the lot. I think you're underestimating what some of the others do. But I agree with you that a smaller, much smaller monarchy would be a good thing. I think, remember on the Queen's Jubilee, on the balcony, there was the Queen. Prince Philip was absent because of illness. There was the Queen, but he would have been there. So let's include him for the sake of argument. The Queen, Prince Philip, um, Harry, uh, Charles, Camilla, Harry, 
William and Kate. That was it. And and I think that's enough, isn't it? You think even even ditch Harry? I do. He's the so spare. We don't need him. <laughs> 